Everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 15 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. Uh, last episode, we got the diesel engine going, and it occurs to me that this will probably be a little bit better once we are able to get the fluid mixer um, from Pneumaticraft. And what I've what I've learned is Pneumaticraft is kind of coming up in chapter two. Uh, if we if we start poking around in that realm, you'll notice that like pneumaticraft stuff is happening over here. Uh, so I think we'll very quickly get to a point where we'll have way uh, more efficient and easier access to biodiesel. So while getting the diesel engine now was not a bad thing, I think it's going to be way more useful for us once we finish up the chapter that we're currently on. So that said, I'm going to hold off completely switching over to diesel power. Uh, until we get to pneumaticraft. I will probably still use it a bit, but like it's going to require, like I'm going to have a mix of, of diesel and water wheels. Uh, and to the point where you can see I even threw uh, a nice little uh, clutch over here just so I can start expanding out this side of the water wheel system too. Um, I might just give myself a little bit of, uh, of, of stuff to, to do with that. So that said, um, what I'm going to work on today, though, is a little bit of change of pace because I want to change up uh, my my storage. I think, and I'm pretty sure I'm right about this, but I hope I'm right about this, but we'll find out if I'm right about this. Uh, if we look at occultism, where did it go? Mastering the occult. Um, we did this chapter down here, and I said uh, a few episodes ago I should go look into doing this. I'm going to do that now because I think I can get a bulk storage environment and wireless access to that storage at this point in the game via occultism because we can get the dimensional storage actuator which is magical mass storage so it's kind of like but not quite as powerful as an applied energistic system but a nice way to have like access to a lot of stuff right um so that said if i start on um some occultism good times we could we could probably maybe do that does that, sound, does, that, does that sound cool? So I'm going to need my Dictionary of Spirits in order for this to work out. I'm going to put away most of my resources real quick. I'm just going to drop all these metals and drop all these dust. So I'm sure I'm going to need some of them. Um, you know, doesn't hurt to just organize my inventory a little bit. Like a lot of the stuff that we're not going to need right just now uh, can be put away. Cool. So let's look at this. So the first thing we're going to want to get uh, is going to be white chalk. So that's going to be like step one, which I'm pretty sure is straightforward enough. It's just impure white chalk, uh, which is three burnt other stone, uh, which we can which we can blast. Um, and other stone is just andesite thrown into a spirit fire. So easy peasy, right? We can go get um, some andesite that's cobbled. Okay, uh, we can blast it over here and that won't be too bad now the other thing that we're going to need is other world ashes which is other world wood in a spirit fire and it's not any wood it's other world wood only now how do we get that um so there's a quest for it um i think we have some other world saplings that we got i don't know but i think we need to like have that vision stuff in order for us to chop down other world trees. Am I right about that? Um, now this we can get from mana steel or amethyst mesh or andesite mesh, right? Crushed netherrack will get me some other world saplings. So if I don't have it yet, I should be able to pull that off. So that's cool. That's good to know. Let's go see what we've got as soon as this cobbled andesite is uh, turned into actual andesite. Come on, chief. Let's go. It is faster than smelting in a furnace, though, isn't it? Absolutely, by far. Uh, so did I have other world saplings yet? Uh, I don't see any in here. I don't see any in here. I can do this, right? Yeah, so I have other world wood. Right? Yes, we have a little bit of other world wood, but we don't have other world saplings yet. And if I did, it would spit me out of JEI and highlight them. So let's get them. So all I have to do is get some crushed netherrack, do this, 
and in a non-waterlogged kind of way, you and you and you, one, two, well, Oh, I need crushed netherrack, not cobbled netherrack, don't I? Yes. So how do I get crushed netherrack? Uh, I can hammer regular netherrack. So I think what that's telling me is I want to smelt it and then probably hammer it. And uh, we've got some iron hammers here, so that shouldn't be too bad. I do want to reattach you though. There we go. Yes, sorry. Crushed, not cobbled. I can I can see how I got confused. I think that's a fair that's a fair thing to get mixed up on. So you're cobbled, and then in a moment you should become regular netherrack, and then we just hammer it up, right? I could use like the machines over there, but I don't think I need to. Um, it'll be faster to just do it manually. That'll do. Cool. And then uh, steal you. One, two, three, four, just to keep it a little bit evener. And that'll get me other world saplings. Sweet. Along with some crimson nylum spores, right click on netherrack to transform into crimson nylum. That's neat. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I need to be under the influence of demons, whatever stuff, when I when I chop this tree down. Otherwise, I don't get no other wood, right? Pretty sure that's how it works. Pretty sure that's how it works. So you're going to go in here. Uh, I've got my other world saplings. Let's read the book about this just to make sure that I understand, right? Um, so we want to read about the book. Yep. Uh, learn lifting the veil hidden from mere human eyes. Yep. Um, the third eye. Humans are not such blah, blah, blah. However, with certain substances and contraptions, uh, it can happen. The most comfortable and most expensive way to obtain this ability is to wear spectacles infused with spirits that lend their sight to the wearer. A slightly more nauseating but very affordable alternative is the consumption of Demon's Dream. Cool. Uh, Otherworld goggles, I think we will get, um, you know, uh, probably eventually, right? There's a, there's a whole progression to get to that point. Okay. Um, Right-click a spirit with Demon's Dream to heal it. Yep, that's cool. Um, spirit fire we've uh, we've already got some of this stuff um, so you could also apparently it says you can do it this way but I'm guessing this is disabled in the pack uh, but I'm pretty sure we need to grow and be under the influence of demons dream in order for this to work so let's test it out right um, place it grow it it does say other world wood on it oh, i get the other oh, i do get other world wood okay well that's cool Okay, beautiful. And we'll let the other saplings grow naturally uh, and come back for them. Cool. All right, so then uh, you guys go in there. I guess I don't need this right now in order for this to work. Yeah, there's a ponder for it. Neat. Um, good deal. So then over here, I think we want to get like roughly nine of these. I think if I just... Perfect. And then you guys... Beautiful. I like that drop item into fire crafting mechanic way better than I like the blue flame one. Because it like does the entire stack and it does it like instantly. Um, where this one's really slow. But I guess if you want it to be slow, 
this one's cool. I just really like that one because you know Dyer. Um, so then to get the impure white chalk, we just have to smelt other stones. So I'm going to get like, because this stuff I literally have an unlimited amount of, right? Um, that's weird. Shouldn't I have gotten more? I guess it's not a guarantee. All right, so I'm going to put uh, half a stack over here. We're going to pick this dude up, put him back here. Half a stack goes on, go. And then you'll turn into um, this one because it is lava that smelts it down. And then we can make our impure white chalk, which will make our white chalk, right? Easy peasy. Should be cool. Then impure white chalk. And you'll notice I already have an island prepared. I got this already between episodes. Look at that. Sweet. All right. Uh, now, if I want the other kind of chalk, um, oh, a chalk brush. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Gold chalk is nice to have as well. That's going to require impure gold chalk, which is another white chalk with gold dust and glowstone. Now, gold dust we can get uh, from a crusher spirit, which might be the way to go because I'm not seeing another way to get gold dust that's accessible to me. So I think we want to get the crusher spirit before we can go on this way. Uh, summoning demons and ordering them to do things. The most simple demon is the foliate. Craft a book of binding foliate and then craft it together with your book of spirits. This will bind a specific foliate to the book. Okay, so for that, we just need some white dye and a book and quill uh, and some purified ink, which is black dye in uh, in the fire, right? Um, so black dye we can actually get from charcoal, which is nice. If we don't have any charcoal, we can get some charcoal. I know a way. I probably should have turned these things off earlier, so I'll just get that going. Um, the white dye might be a little bit easier said than done, because I don't know how much bone meal I have left, but that said, I'm sure I could... Oh, you know what? I have a bunch of bones from killing, from killing dudes, right? Um, so that's probably a good way to go. What's a, what's a nifty way to get bones turned into bone meal? I could probably get the crushing wheel pretty soon. Yes, I don't see a reason I can't get this, by the way. I could absolutely get a crushing wheel. Uh, milling will give me a 25% chance of extra and a little bit of white dye, so that might be a good way to go. Um, just looking for any extra, extra cool ways to get bone meal from bone. I think milling is probably our best bet. I think milling is probably our best bet. So I'm going to leave that thing running. Snag some bones. And this should get me a healthy amount of bone meal. And you, Mr. Mill, should be running. So that looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely looking good. And it's getting me white dye. So that's like a bonus, right? Sweet. All right, the other thing we're going to need is... So we actually need, like, a proper ink sac. Is there, like, a... Is there a trick to that? There's a quest, there's a loot fabricator, and then it's just, obviously, squids. Uh, we're going to have to investigate that. Because that one might be easier said than done. That's in the Ars Nouveau chapter. Man, Ars Nouveau has like a whole chapter to it, huh? We just need our worn notebook first. That'll be enough for now. So, bone meal can go away. I'll hang on to my white dye because I know I'm going to need it for a minute. And then you guys can go away. That'll be good. All right, let me figure out squids. The other obvious approach to a squid would be um, like something like this, right? I just need to go look up the rules for squid spawning so we can get them to actually show up. All right, so I think what I can do is get ink sacks from the fishing net from Cyclic. All I need uh, is a fishing rod, which is, you know, easy enough. So let's get a couple string. 
Let's get ourselves a fishing rod, and that's a quest complete. Cool. Bing, bang, boom. For the record, uh, the fishing net is just some cobwebs, which I can make... If I got honeycomb, I could make cobwebs. Um, or once I get to Batania, though it's going to need a blaze fiber in order to make it, but still, doable. Um, Splash Potion of Luck. Oh, so cool. I'll hang on to that for later. A, that gave me uh, Ink Sack, though, so that's neat. Um, but then, more importantly, this should be able to get me more Ink Sacks. So that should work. It just said to place it, and then I put my fishing rod inside of it. Is that what it says to do? We'll find out. So I luckily happen to have um, you, and then always on. So, uh, go. It does say an item collector would be useful. Basic item collector needs obsidian and an ender pearl. Eh, as much as I hate spending obsidian, because we really don't have a good source of lava. Um, but I'll do it because I do think that that makes sense for now. And I mean, having an item collector in general sounds like a good idea. So I'm not opposed to the idea. Item collector, and it doesn't have to be particularly a large area. Oh, look, it did do something. Look at that, cool. So what I might do is just like, uh, if I put you here, would that be? Yeah, it should be fine, right? I think so. Uh, or I could put him in the middle. That would also be fine. But hey, like free food too, not for nothing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's working. Sweet. All right, so uh, for now, hide your range. Hopefully I come back and there's some more ink sacks in here. If there aren't, uh, I actually just talked to the FTB team and was like, hey, how about Black Dive for books? And they're like, usually we do that. Oops. And it'll be in the next version. So next version of the pack, I will be able to make Book and Quill with Black Dye, which as we know, uh, is easy to get. So that'll be fixed. See? This is why we test. This is why we test. All right, so let's get ourselves a book. Uh, and remind me, a book is what now? Because there's a there's another way, right? Canvas, which is four straw. Which is four straw. So that should be you. And then I just need the feathers, which we should have plenty of feathers. Don't we have a ton of feathers? Did I use all my feathers? What did I use them for? Didn't I use them for something? I was like, oh yeah, I have a ton of feathers. I don't know what I need them for. I'll just use them. Don't remember. It was a few episodes back, wasn't it? I used feathers. Well, looks like I'm going to have to uh, get myself some more feathers. Oh, chicken palooza. Uh, where did I do chicken palooza? A nice wide area would be cool. Um, so what I need is a bunch of this. Chicken palooza. Hey, Bale. You and you. And we'll do this in a big open area. Lots of room. And hopefully this spawns in a good way. Hello, chickens. Thank you. You definitely want to do this on a large platform because the radius around which it can spawn chickens is pretty large. Uh, and they have a habit of spawning off the platform, which is no good. See where the last one is, I don't know. It's apparently here somewhere. So I bet he's like falling into the void as we speak. And it takes him a while to fall into the void because they can flap their wings. So yeah, it's not, the bigger the platform you spawn them on, the better. Trust me on that. That's just, that's the way to be with these guys. See, now, because the chicken eventually falls, and yeah. Goodness, how many 
health points do you guys have, chickens? There we go. And then there's two more, which are apparently down there somewhere. You can totally see them on the map. You don't see them otherwise, but they're on the map. See, chicken here, chicken there. They're chilling. Being uncool. But that's okay. They eventually fall into the void and then we get what we want to get. Now that chicken I knocked off into the void, so that's on me. Goodness, they move fast. Okay, and then there's one more hanging around somewhere, probably falling into the void as we speak. But don't worry, we've got four minutes, they'll eventually die, and then the portal closes and we're done. So look, we got tons of feathers for that. Also, tons of raw chicken that I could totally cook up. It's not a bad source of food, for sure. See, portal's done. And you get a little experience too. Oh, you get a lot of experience. Not for nothing, that was a decent chunk. I better store that in my obelisk. Okay, cooking up chicken. Oh, that's right, chicken's supposed to be smoked. See? Told you I always forget which one's which. It's alright. I'm not losing sleep over a little bit of raw chicken. So now you guys are cool. You can go away. And for you, we're going to make the book. And then I just need the purified ink. Okay. And that will be your book of binding foliate. Sweet. Which we combine with this book to get the actual thing that we need. Awesome. All right. Now... Um, ooh, what did I get here? Oh, any item collector gets me ooh, some good loots, actually. I'll take some extra ink sacks and a void upgrade and a fishing rod with luck of the sea. That's cool. Okay. Uh, and ink sacks. Yeah, definitely. So now quest-wise, we got void upgrades, mastering the occult. Look at that, they gave me uh, silver and Isnium ingots. That's cool. That's quite cool. Where did I get this? Oh, that's right, I got it from a quest. Uh, Occultism, Oz Obsidian Dust. Neat. That'll be used for my Impure Chalk, I assume. Yeah. Okay, so with that done, we can now get um, a Sacrificial Bowl. We're going to want five of them, and then we're also going to want white candles. So we're going to need some extra tallow, which I do have some of. So white candles are easy. Done. Okay. Uh, sacrificial bowls. Times five. And then we need eight gold. Plates. Let's go get ready to uh, stamp it out. Cool. Perfect. Now I'll probably wind up, because resources are tight right now, having multiple islands that I move different things between, but we'll like place all the stuff in a relatively smart way. Okay, so gold sacrificial bowl is good now. Perfect. And now we can um, we get some Spirit of Tune gems, which is a nice reward to get here. Uh, and now we can summon uh, this dude, right? Um,
Look at all this cool stuff we can do with it. Slow Crusher. I think this is the one I want, right? Summon Foley Out Crusher. And that's going to allow me to get Gold Dust, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so for this, right, I'm pretty sure Crusher is where I need to be right now. And then we can get into this stuff, the Magic Storage area. But I want to get the... Um, Possession, summoning, binding, and familiar. I'm pretty sure summoning is where I want to be, right? Lumberjack, transporter, machine operator, weather magic. Not worried about that stuff. Crusher is what I want. And there's four tiers of Crusher. We're obviously going to start with the basic one. Uh, trade spirits, uh, parrots, trick wings, afrits. Yeah, I remember those guys. But fully out Crusher is where we want to be. One ore into two corresponding dust. Remember, the top tier crusher can be, like, pretty ridiculous. Um, where does it, like, link me to that, though? Doesn't it tell me which thing I need? No? Okay. Uh, AVR circle. Summon foliate job slow. Hello. What I get? Ooh, creepers avoid the wear. I do like those. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I love those. Those are great boots. All right, so AVR's circle is what I'm after. So AVR's circle would be in here, this guy, right? Um, considered by most the simplest and easiest to set up. Only the weakest fully out can be summoned. And that's where Foley Out Crusher comes in. Perfect. All right, so I should be able to visualize this. And we're going to stick it on this island over here, obviously. And that looks good. And then we put our sacrificial bowls with this in the center. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then our four candles that it told me to get. One, two, three. Four, and that's complete. And then our bowls go one, two, three, four. And then to summon him, we need a soul steel ingot, a copper ingot, iron plate, and andesite alloy. Okay, so iron plate, copper ingot, andesite alloy, and soul steel is um, either one actually. Uh, let's just do this. And then we need one copper plate. Am I right about that? Might as well get two because I can... It doesn't matter. That's what I'll do. Oh, don't forget to turn it off. Dire, please. Want that dude up. Okay. I don't think it matters what goes where. Uh, so that goes there. Copper. Iron plate. And uh, that's right. And the side alloy. Did I have any in here? No. I was like, there's something else I'm missing. I forgot. Oh, that's right. Don't forget to put that away before I die. And then if I'm not mistaken, we just put this in the center, right? Let's remember exactly how to summon. Uh, on pentacles. Da, ba, ba, ba. Rituals. Summoning rituals. I think all I do is put the book in there, but I want to, like, make sure. Candles, yes. Um, yes, Purified Ink, Book of Binding. Well, I guess we'll just do it and see what happens. 
Okay? I think that's it. I think we just do that, and then we'll have our spirit. Right? Hopefully he's not dumb enough to go wandering off. Um, now I want at least one gold dust, because if I want golden chalk, I need a gold dust, right? So let's just be prepared for that. But having this dude is going to be useful a lot in the future anyway, but it's also going to let me progress through the mod so I can do what I want. Yes, look, it already took um, the first two components of the ritual. Nice. Now I think I can use the book to pick him up, but I'm not sure. Uh, we could use a soul gem to pick up mobs too. That requires a higher tier. That requires diamonds to get and silver, which I don't want to use um, unless I really, really want to. So we'll hold off on that. All right, so three of the components were consumed now. Um, once the fourth one poofs, then the, uh, the demon should be summoned. Hey, look, there he is. What's up, little dude? Best friends forever. So if I toss you that, he will slowly convert it to a dust, if I'm not mistaken. And that 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 dude will be able to be used for other stuff in the future too, like I said. Very, very useful little bro. You can like shift right click him. Yeah, we can see details about him. Hey, look at that. Cool. Cool. Alright, you chill there, little bro. Over here, we're going to make you. And you. And then we drop this in the fire. And we get golden chalk, which is a quest. Hooray! All right, let's wrap up here. We got a golden choo-choo spawn egg. Oh my goodness. It's a golden choo-choo. I don't know... Golden choo-choo. I have no idea. I'm going to hide it in here because I don't want to lose it. That's what I generally do. All right, we're going to wrap up the episode here, come back next time, and then start looking at the dimensional storage actuator, which, if I'm not mistaken, is like an, is like a, is like an early game AE system to hold a ton of stuff. Um, freshly crafted as on 28 slots and holds up to 1,000 items per slot. It has a search bar, several sorting options, and a 3x3 crafting grid. Uh, the anvil slot in the top left and the furnace menu in the bottom right both are only used by a Ginny machine operator. The actuator keeps its contents when mined. Pipes and the light can access the actuator's inventory. Cool, right? Pretty cool. Um, and then and then from there, you can also make dimensional stabilizers, which increase the max capacity of your dimensional storage. They have to be placed two to five blocks away and have to aim at the floating matrix above the base. More than one can be installed. Tier 1 adds 256 additional slots. And a reminder, each slot can hold a thousand items. Kind of cool. Uh, and then storage accessor allows me to access my dimensional storage from anywhere. Sneak right click the actuator with the accessor to bind it. I'm pretty sure all these items are currently in reach for me. So if I get all this stuff, that would be cool. I hope this thing has a built-in um, crafting storage. I, I, I don't know. We'll find out. For now, Adult 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time uh, to look into making that cool stuff. All right, for now, take it easy.